and whoever was the last owner i think did not do any sort of maintenance to this car and uh, these two components the nut and the screw have gotten so rusted that they've uh, decomposed and basically rusted into one single part Welcome to another episode of Project Laura. And in the last episode, we did the remap and uh, we tested the car with data logging and we tried to do an acceleration test, but it completely failed. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to fix the major issue, at least for me, and it's that massive wheel gap. So the boys over at Cobra Suspension and Cobra Suspension India have sent us a beautiful set of 30-30 lowering springs. So we're going to be fitting them on today. And after that, I just want to see how this car is going to look. So these are my Cobra lowering uh, springs for the LoRa 1.8 and I have been really excited for it because uh, actually in the timeline of the series the car has been driving for this like for almost two weeks so it has that hideous, hideous wheel gap and because of the oversized tyres and wheels which are 17 inches the wheel gap has increased even more so this is going to fix that problem and finally the car is going to look like a proper proper performance car uh, so why i chose cobra suspension lowering springs is because first of all they're very affordable they're of amazing quality and i got a really good deal on them because of the boys over at am racing and uh, cobra suspension headquarters and another thing is that they're made in the netherlands and my favorite f1 driver max or stefan is from the netherlands so that's another the reason why I prefer these but yeah they're gonna help me uh, lower the car make it look proper and I don't know if handling is gonna improve I'm pretty sure it's not going to because my dampers will be stock but definitely this will be a really good upgrade to the car This seems to be an easy job on camera. Loosen and remove a few screws and yank the shock absorber out, but it is way more complex than it seems, especially on this car. First, you gotta remove the wheels, then unhinge the wipers so you can access the top mounts for the suspension, and then unlink the shock absorbers to the link rods, then start hammering it out of the socket. It basically takes more than 30 minutes to remove one shock absorber, and a lot of patience. Finally, the boys were able to remove my filthy shock absorbers and now it was time to separate the strut and the spring using this weird looking tool and as you will see, this is going to take a wild turn. Twenty thousand six hundred rupees for the parts. Twenty thousand six hundred for the parts. And what about the rear? Rear shock B three hundred four hundred rupees. Why does that? Wow, Jitnik springs made those things. Both hands are there at the port right now, but it's roughly somewhat that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suspension is best you do everything at once because exactly. you remove something, something breaks. Mm -hmm. 
So we've got it into a massive problem while fitting the new springs. So uh, you saw us removing this old shock absorber and the old spring. So we got it out of the car and once we got it out, we were trying to remove the uh, spring and the shock absorber differently. So you have to basically put in a gun and uh, spin this whole thing over here. So it is held in place with two components mainly, uh, the screw, the bolt and actually there's another component which is the shaft. So the screw and the bolt keep it in place together and whoever was the last owner I think did not do any sort of maintenance to this car and uh, these two components, the nut and the screw have gotten so rusted that they've uh, decomposed and basically rusted into one single part. So even if we put in a gun and somehow managed to uh, get it out in some sort of way these two things are going to break completely and even if they come out we won't be able to fit in a new part in that place so the only solution to this is getting a new strut so i have ordered new struts now and i will have to wait for them till they come tomorrow and then the lowering springs will go on so yeah if you're doing suspension things make sure that you get everything done and don't be a cheapskate like me i guess Senna sprints away, Senna is trying to 